Scientists now believe 3i Atlas may have sent the original wow signal. And now, 48 years later, it's headed for Earth. What if aliens are sending a visitor to our solar system? As the 3L slash ATLAS is approaching Earth and meant to reach our planet by December, scientists like Avi Loeb, the Harvard astrophysicist, are giving a serious warning about what this might mean for our planet. Professor Loeb wasn't finished. He went on to talk about a Manhattan-sized interstellar object. He's been on the show talking about it a lot. It's called 3I Atlas. Is this simply an interstellar visitor passing through or a mothership from an alien civilization? On, uh, it will be closest to Earth, actually, on December 19th, uh, which is just the week before uh, Christmas. Uh, I hope it will not uh, ruin any uh, holiday um, events. 3L slash A-T-L-A-S trajectory goes towards Earth. When a visitor from another star system drifted into our solar neighborhood, it raised a lot of questions among scientists. 3L slash A-T-L-A-S is another traveler and the third interstellar visitor that scientists have noticed. It is a comet-like body on a hyperbolic path, meaning that it came in from far beyond our solar system and will leave again, never to return. From the moment scientists discovered the atlas in July 2025, they've been watching it and were shocked when they realized that it is approaching Earth. It has charted a journey that carries it past the Sun, near the orbits of Mars and Venus, and then towards Earth. But its strange movement seems more like a probe collecting information on different planets. And now, it's coming towards Earth. In late October 2025, 3L-ATLAS reached its perihelion, which is the closest point to the Sun. This is at about 1.4 astronomical units, AU, roughly 130 million miles. At this point, it made its swiftest passage, speeding under the sun's gravitational influence, and then started the outward leg of its journey. Before and after this sun swing, it passed relatively near to Mars, making it easy for scientists to observe it. From that apex, it is now moving away from the sun, and as it does so, the path it takes brings it toward the general region of Earth's orbit. Although it's not close enough to raise an alarm, Scientists are expecting that Atlas will reach its closest point to Earth on the 19th of December, 2025. Many are looking forward to this date because they wonder what this would mean for our planet. When the Atlas comes towards Earth, it would lie at about 1.8 astronomical units away from our planet, which is equal to about 270 million kilometers or 167 million miles. At that distance, the ATLAS will be more than 600 times the distance between Earth and the Moon. So, the ATLAS is still in the realm of deep space visitors and won't directly affect Earth. Still, that doesn't mean there's nothing strange about this interstellar visitor, which seems to be monitoring our solar system. Atlas has a hyperbolic orbit, and so it won't be captured by the Sun's gravity. It came at high speed and is expected to leave at high speed too, slipping back into the interstellar void. The shape of its path through our system means that it will cross the ecliptic, which is the general plane of planetary orbits, at a steep angle. What does this mean for our planet? And will the ATLAS give us any surprises? Well, one of the leading scientists from Harvard, Avi Loeb, disagrees with what scientists are saying about how harmless the ATLAS might be. AV Loeb Mothership Theory 3L slash ATLAS has stirred a lot of wonder and unease in the scientific community. Ever since it was detected in July 2025, experts have been watching its trajectory, fearing that it would come too close to Earth. In the midst of this celestial drama, astrophysicist Avi Loeb has advanced a provocative possibility that asks, what if 3L slash A TLAS is not a comet, but an enormous mothership dispatched by an intelligent extraterrestrial civilization. In his explanations, Loeb talked about this scenario in which this strange object is using the sun's gravity 
to execute what is known in astronautics as an Oberth maneuver. That happens when a spacecraft is accelerating or decelerating when it is moving fastest near perihelion, thereby gaining or shedding energy efficiently. Loeb says that the timing of ATLAS's passing is telling. The object will approach its perihelion on October 29th, just as it passes out of view behind the sun from Earth's vantage. He says that this blind spot might just give the object an opportunity to carry out a discrete maneuver. According to Loeb, Atlas will release smaller probes directed towards the solar system's planets, including Earth, before it continues out of our system. He also says that Atlas truly is a mothership, and that the mini-probes would be sent when the main vehicle is at its maximum speed, leveraging the gravitational assist of the Sun for greatest effect. Loeb's hypothesis is only speculative, but it's hard not to suspect that ATLAS is strange. Loeb is calling this a black swan scenario, which is highly unlikely, yet of enormous importance if it turns out to be true. Although the simplest explanation is that the object is a natural interstellar comet, ignoring the possibility of technology simply because it seems like it won't happen would be poor science. Another piece of evidence that Loeb pointed out is the trajectory of the ATLAS. It seems to be traveling in a path that brings it close to the orbits of Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. It's also going to pass by Earth, although not as close. These alignments are pretty rare for a natural interstellar object, and it's raising questions. What is the intention of the ATLAS? With Loeb's scenario, the Atlas is a mothership that's continuing on its outward journey after perihelion, but before it leaves, it would drop different mini probes to spy on different planets, including the Earth. What stands out in Loeb's theory is the perspective that he offers. If a probe or mothership from another civilization is present in our backyard, Humanity must treat the situation with seriousness and not dismissal. In his words, science is guided by evidence and not by expectations. Of course, many other scientists don't agree with what Loeb is warning about the Atlas being a mothership. The overwhelming consensus among planetary scientists is that ATLAS is a natural object rich in carbon dioxide ice with no confirmed signs of propulsion or non-natural behavior. But some scientists have other ideas about what the ATLAS might actually be. Other scientists' warning. While Avi Loeb gives serious warnings as the three all slash ATLAS is approaching Earth, many scientists are also warning about the object's oddities. This attracts major attention, although many are still favoring a natural explanation. One team led by researchers at the European Southern Observatory, using the Very Large Telescope, VLT, found what seems to be a shocking abundance of nickel vapor in the coma of 3L slash ATLAS, combined with a markedly low iron EFE signal. Their paper reports that nickel atoms were detected at distances of 3.14 to 2.14 astronomical units from the Sun while iron was only detected closer than about 2.64 astronomical units. The high ni slash fe ratio is unusual when compared with solar system comets and even the previous interstellar visitor, 2i slash Borisov. They also suggest that volatile nickel carbonyl compounds might just explain the nickel release, which is a chemical process that's not typical in cometary models. Nonetheless, they stop short of suggesting an artificial origin, and they say that this is also a natural process, but also unfamiliar to what scientists are used to. Another pair of studies also has a different view about what the ATLAS might be. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, one team discovered that the coma of Atlas is dominated by carbon dioxide, and that the ratio is about 8 to 1 at about 3.32 astronomical units from the Sun, which is a value that's far higher than typical solar system comets. This suggests the object may have formed in a colder or chemically distinct environment. 
more and more scientists are paying attention to the ATLAS. Some use the Neil Garrels Swift Observatory to carry out ultraviolet observations and recorded water-derived OH emission at about 3.5 astronomical units, again earlier than expected for standard comet models. These early activation signals are causing scientists to reconsider what the ATLAS and other interstellar objects could be. Are they motherships from extraterrestrial civilizations, sent to spy on us, or simply objects floating through space? Well, some scientists prefer to be cautious about the ATLAS and its role in our solar system. One astronomer of the European Space Agency, Michael Cuppers, has publicly said that while it looks particularly interesting, it looks like a comet and it behaves like a comet. There's no reason to think it's something else. He and his colleagues are saying that we should avoid sensational leaps beyond the data. Many researchers also agree with this, especially since special claims like alien spacecraft require extraordinary evidence. They want to focus on other natural explanations rather than the crazy ones, such as alien attacks. Still, these scientists are saying that ATLAS needs to be watched closely. Its trajectory and unusual composition make it one of the strangest small bodies ever observed entering our neighborhood. They have noticed several anomalies and oddities of the ATLAS object. Anomalies and Oddities One of the reasons why the Atlas object is attracting a lot of attention from the scientific community is the interstellar origin and hyperbolic trajectory. It's an object that entered our solar system, and it will exit again instead of being bound to the sun. Its high inbound velocity and path mean that it's an object that doesn't come from our star's family. Even if this fact alone is already remarkable, what is causing many experts to raise eyebrows is how it's moving through the solar system and seems to be spying on other planets. Another strange feature of the ATLAS is the high ratio of carbon dioxide to water in the coma. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, researchers have discovered that there is a mixing ratio of about 8 to 1 at a heliocentric distance of about 3.32 astronomical units, among the highest ever recorded for a comet. Combined with UV observations of water byproduct, OH emission, at a distance where water ice sublimation is normally inefficient, as this suggests that it has unusual, volatile behavior. This implies that the ATLAS is formed under very different conditions, or it has had a very strange history as it went through evolution over the years. For instance, one study argues that galactic cosmic rays may have processed the outer layers of its nucleus, altering the volatile inventory. Beyond the chemistry of ices, there's something stranger in the metals and dust behavior of the atlas. After scientists carried out spectra and coma studies, they found out that it has unusually high nickel abundance in the absence of iron in proportions that are way different from other solar system comets. Additionally, 3i slash ATLAS exhibits strong outgassing and dust emission at large distances from the sun, where typical comets become far less active, which further challenges standard models of cometary activation. But perhaps the strangest behavior is the timing and geometry of ATLAS as it passes through the solar system. Its perihelion happened on 29th of October, 2025, just after it emerged from behind the sun from Earth's perspective and then it is expected to pass by Earth by December 19th. Its path brings it quite close to the orbital planes of Mars, Earth, and other planets, and this doesn't seem like a random trajectory. Instead, it looks like it was planned, and scientists like Avi Loeb say that this is finely tuned. When looking at all the strange features of the ATLAS, researchers still want to stick to natural explanations instead of going beyond, like Loeb. There's no doubt that the interstellar origin, unusual chemistry, dust and grain behavior, and trajectory alignment make this one of the most intriguing small bodies that we have ever studied. 
they challenge our understanding of how comet-like objects can form, evolve, and behave in environments outside our solar system, and they highlight the need for further observation, especially post-perihelion, when more data may become available. Now, scientists are waiting to see what will happen when the ATLAS finally passes Earth this December, just a week before Christmas. Is this really a mothership that's spying on our solar system and our planet? And will this keep the Earth in trouble? Let's know your thoughts in the comments. So, thanks for watching this video, and we will see you in the next one.